In 1881, Ipswich was a poor town with tightly packed homes, low morals and many gin houses. Fights were common. A group of concerned citizens were led to approach the Salvation Army and ask William Booth, its founder, to bring the Salvation Army to Ipswich. Captain Gibson and some of the Salvation Army from Harwich were sent by General Booth to open fire in Ipswich. Open air meetings and marches were held and a building was secured for meetings, but several hundred young men followed the Salvation Army about the town. Uproar, catcalls, stamping of feet and fireworks were all used to break up proceedings. <laughs> In the end, the owner of the premises being used withdrew his permission for meetings to be held, but a minister believed in the work of the Salvation Army and offered the use of his chapel. Many lives were wonderfully changed. However, the attacks continued and due to severe damage to the chapel being used, this opening by the Salvationists had to be abandoned but God can find a way. In 1884, land in Burrell Road was secured and a large wooden building, which had been a circus, was erected. It had seating for 1,600 people. This third attempt to establish the army in Ipswich was successful. It is from this date in 1884 that we celebrate our anniversary. Soon it became obvious that another meeting place would be needed. Fortunately, in 1891, an old theatre in Tackett Street became available. The old centre of entertainment became the venue of a gloriously successful Christian endeavour. With our town centre location, we soon became a familiar site in Ipswich, whether with our band and songsters on the Cornhill, or marching to Tackett Street from the Cornhill.
The Salvation Army was in Tackett Street for over 100 years, but the building became costly to repair and no longer met our needs, so a new hall was built on Woodbridge Road. In 1993, we marched away from our old hall in Tackett Street to our new hall in Woodbridge Road. We may no longer be in the town centre, but that doesn't mean that we hide in this hall. You will see and hear some of our band playing Christmas carols in town every December, Saturday morning. and at Old Brook Carnival, Songs of Praise. Our band and choir visit homes at Christmas to play and sing to the residents. You will have seen a lot of uniforms in these photos, but we are not an exclusive members only uniform wearing club. If you come to our worship on Sunday mornings at 10.30, you will see a lot of people not wearing uniforms. Anyone is welcome to come. Our youth have their own meeting at 11 o'clock. And our hall is not only busy on Sundays. 
On Tuesday, our Cameo Club meets at 9.15 to play pool, bowls and table tennis, to knit, do crafts and play board games, or just to chat. Anyone over 50 is welcome to come. On Wednesday, our toddler group is at 9.30. Anyone under five is welcome, but please bring an adult with you. And on the third Sunday of each month, at 10 o'clock, Sunday fun. Free play for any child, but please bring an adult with you. And on the second Wednesday of each month, our ladies' fellowship meet at 2.30. Thursday is a busy day. We have a Bible study group at 10.30. You're welcome to come to this. It's not too academic. A friendship club for the over 60s at 10.45. If you're over 60, you're welcome to come to this. And a lunch club at 12 o'clock every Thursday. You're welcome to join us for lunch, but you will need to book. The third Friday in the month is Man Friday at 7pm. If you're a man and it's that Friday, we'd love to see you, but we can't promise a meal every month. If you're hungry on the first Saturday of each month, join us for breakfast between 9 and 11.30.